Well, Simless Limited and its chief executive officer and founder, Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed, were not well known to Kenyans until recently. But the recent fight between the IEBC and the DCI over the retention of Venezuelan nationals resulted in some discoveries that threw Abdullahi Mohammed into the mix. NTV's Sidney Chazima now examines the man the DCI alleges invited the Venezuelan nationals to the country. Abdullahi Mohammed, the man whose name popped up in a series of revealing tweets by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, is the CEO of Simless Limited, a Nairobi-based tech company caught in the eye of the storm over the presence of three Venezuelan nationals in the country. The IEBC, while issuing a statement condemning the arrest of the three individuals last week, had stated that the three were employees of Smartmatic International, the company contracted to provide election technology for the August polls. But a rejoinder by the DCI would claim that the Venezuelans were neither IEBC nor Smartmatic staff, but had been in the country at the invitation of one Abdullahi Mohammed Abdi. This establishment along Dennis Spritz Road, dubbed the Iran House of Innovation and Technology, reportedly houses Abdullahi's firm in a co-shared working space arrangement. Security guards at this premise offered little to no information about the tenants of the co-shared working space, let alone the whereabouts of Abdullahi Mohammed. From the government business registry, Seamless Technologies has none of its directors or owners listed. A quick search on Abdullahi's LinkedIn profile reveals that he graduated from Peria University in India in 2009 with a degree in computer science and was an employee at Tospay Limited and offered consultancy services to the European Union Election Observation Mission during the 2017 general election. But even as the storm over the presence of the Venezuelan nationals continues to hit the headlines, questions remain abound on who Muhammad Abdullahi Simless Limited was acting on behalf of. Speaking to NTV, Abdullahi revealed, and I quote, Smartmatic had subcontracted me for the upcoming polls, and while the saga ensued, I recorded statements with the DCI and gave all corresponding documents that pointed to the working relations between Smartmatic, the IEBC, and the Venezuelan nationals and seamless technologies. Abdullahi adds that having cooperated with the DCI, I am surprised that the DCI chose to share partial information with the public that has since turned me into a person of interest. End of quote. Sidney Chazima, NTV.